go to broadcast settings. I can't see the top one. No, 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 no. Advanced settings. There we go. Okay, so we're doing super carts at Monaco. I'm going to be VR just so um, just so I can have a good mic. I'm not using a camera mic. Um, as you guys can see, it is 78 laps. I'm doing a full grid. Uh, it's gonna be 36 cars on the grid, and we're starting from the back. It's gonna be a last to first challenge at Monaco. Let's see if we can get it done. Actually, hold on. Options and help gameplay. Let's put, we have mechanical failures on. We'll do, do slow tire wear, slow um, fuel usage. So that way we will have to make a pit stop, at least one. So Probably more than one, if I'm being honest here. But, we're at Monaco. As you can see, 19 turns, uh, two turns, 2.1 miles, 78 laps to get it done. We're looking for a win. I have yet to win with the super carts at Monaco, at least with like fuel and tires usually I blow a tire or I just my fuel mileage doesn't work but we're here we got the checkered helmet this time it means we're gonna win green, green, green. and I have the AI at max so that way I have the most difficulty winning but Uh, and to St. Devot for the first time. It's a cluster. Heading up to S Casino Square. Ow, that's a hit. Luckily I don't have damage on, otherwise that probably would have been race over. Oh, down to the hairpin for the first time. Going a bit wide through there. Just trying to find a, trying to find a line to run right now. Ow. <sighs> Heavy on the brakes there. We just gotta file back in line. Hopefully, we can not do that. Oh my god. This is why I don't do tire usage. Because the tires can just degrade way too fast. And you can get stuck in a wall, like I did. So I'm gonna turn off tires, we'll, we'll still have fuel, and we will hopefully have a better run this time around. Oh, flags and penalties, yep, everything else looks fine. Alright, let's hopefully that, let's hope that, you know, 
this stuff works better this time. So we can get through lap one. If we can get through lap one, we should be fine. Um, we just gotta make it to the next 77 without running out of fuel. But there's actually there's gonna be a problem. Quite a few pit stops, I'm assuming, uh, just for fuel. So this could get interesting. I won't what? I won't win. I won't survive the first lap, probably. Luggage start. Going into St. Devot for the first time. Heavy on the brakes. Use a bunch of the curb. It's a car park. Guys, this is a racetrack, not a parking garage. Really don't know what happened there, but we just gotta fix it. We got 77 more laps to fix that mistake. This is an abysmal first lap. That's a wall. Alright, we're gonna get some places back. Don't care. I have this on 100 AI, I don't know why they're so abysmal back here. Why am I so abysmal? That's it, nope. Not starting from the back.
almost starting from the back. You usually get stuck with all the AI that sucks. As you can see, it's at 100. Starting from pole. I'm trying to fix my, uh... I'm trying to fix my VR headset here. Great start. Nice and easy into St. Devault. So that way we can run up the hill to Casino Square here. Looks like we're using about 0.6 of a gallon of fuel every lap, which means trying to figure out how many laps we can go on a tank. Rounded up to be 10 or 12 laps, so we'll probably be pitting roughly seven to eight times depending on how much fuel mileage we can get out of each tank. Already three seconds ahead. Don't know how that happened, but... I need to build as big of a gap as I can for when um, the pit stop comes in. We'll lose a bunch of time on the pit stop. So I need to try to build as big of a gap as I can. That means kind of uh, driving the wheels off of this thing. about almost a second's worth of time to the guy behind me on this lap. Losing the back end there. Way too late. Short shift through the tunnel, that way we can get the, hopefully we can maximize our fuel mileage. 
because maximizing fuel mileage is going to be the name of the game for this race. Since I turned off tire wear, we're going to be more focused on um, how well can we manage our fuel and how much of a gap can we pull when we're um, when we're in the pit lane. How much of that gap loss can we reduce while we're in the pit lane? While we're just trying to, you know, drive the wheels off of it in between pit stops. While we're trying to build a huge gap to second place, so that way we don't lose too much track position. Even though we can overtake in the supercarts, you just don't want to get stuck behind someone. Because 78 laps is a long time, but if you're stuck behind someone for six seven laps that could be all that time that you've lost could be used chasing down first place whoa and we're around all that stuff I was just talking about, about, you know, now I've definitely got to drive the wheels off this thing. In order to regain that gap that I had, i got to drive the wheels off this thing. 7.8 left. Okay, cool. Avoid the curbs. Someone's in the escape road. For whatever reason, the AI on those tracks with the super carts, they can't get themselves out of the escape road. So he's going to be there for the entire rest of the race. Because when it comes to fuel strategy, at least for what I do, is I kind of f fill the car pretty heavy, and then it gives me a lot of wiggle room in terms of being able to just go flat out. And then in the later stages of the race, whenever track position and stuff like that is a lot more important, that's when I start f fueling the car about... A normal fill but then I'd um, employ some fuel saving tactic tactics to try to maximize that normal fill but we'll see what we can do here on um, on this attempt here we might just kind of keep going with normal fills and just driving the wheels off this thing because it looks like we're getting pretty good gas mileage out of the out of this right now but Great driving, mate. Pace is really good. 
building a nice gap to second place now. Keep up the good work. Yeah, it looks like we're getting pretty good uh, mileage. We'll probably get about eight to nine laps. Um, I'm actually looking more like ten. So we'll get about ten laps per fill up, um, which doesn't sound like a lot, but this thing has a very small fuel tank, and so the fact that this the, the fact that this thing can do twenty miles on a small tank that only holds about you know ten gallons. Especially 10 gallons of race fuel and this being a race engine is pretty good gas mileage. Also, normally these in real life these carts aren't used for long distance racing like this. So that's kind of my excuse for having to do a bunch of pit stops. Is that these carts aren't meant for this type of racing, but they're fun to drive around here, so. Yeah, it's also another reason why I turned off tire wear, because this track just eats super cart tires. And I really didn't want to be pitting every seven or eight laps just for tires. So... The less amount of pit stops I can do, the better. Ooh, almost touched the wall there. And plus, as we burn off fuel, the cards and get lighter, so we're going faster. So that's why you'll probably start to see some of my some of my laps get faster and faster as my fuel ticks fuel ticker goes down because cars getting lighter and lighter cars go faster so eight seconds that is not enough time so if, even if we pit now we'll be probably somewhere close to 10th place which is not where I want to be I mean it is only the first stint so I guess I could you know, I guess I could take that, but I don't want to. I would love to do pit in first and um, stay in first after the pit stop, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think I have a big enough gap. Probably would have if I would have spun a few laps ago. See, we can get about probably another two or three, three or four laps maybe before um, we get called in for fuel. So, because I don't want to pit too early. Pitting too early can be detrimental to track position. Pitting too late can mean your whole race is over. So... 
kind of the last thing I want to do. Especially when I'm leading is just run out of fuel after a tire. Because that would suck. Oop, that's a wall. There's not a wall. Lovely driving out there, that's great pace. We're putting a good clean gap for second place now. Keep up the good work. So we have a second person watching. Hello, other person. Yellow flags ahead. Repeat, yellow flags. Yellow flag. There's nothing up here. Back marker behind me, I don't like this. Okay, I'm dragging him away. Four and a half. One twenty six two. I don't need to worry too much about taking a defensive line because it's their back marker. Um, if they pass me, it's not that big of a deal. They're just unlapping themselves. But you just always got to watch out for them because they can take you out if you're not careful. What does that even mean? I can't really read that because I'm in VR. Yellow flags, repeat, yellow flags. I suck, did underscore I see you? What? It's in the YouTube chat, but I don't do that. Came really unstable under braking. I think it's in the YouTube chat. I don't see it. Only place I should be broadcasting is YouTube because my YouTube and my Twitch are two different accounts. So I don't know who this person is. Point six. 
probably gonna be pitting here soon. So three and a half gallons of fuel. I don't know which button I have mapped for my. I don't know which button I have for my uh, pit menu. I shouldn't have to check my Twitch because my Twitch and my YouTube are two entirely different accounts. And when I went to stream on my PlayStation, which is what I'm on right now, it only lets me select one. So it should only broadcast on one of the two sites. So... Alright, next lap I'm coming in. Oh jeez, we got four of them up here? Okay. I gotta get past all of them. You you can just like keep commenting because it's just gonna give me more um uh what's the word interaction so it's actually gonna help like YouTube recommend my stuff to other people so if you can just like keep commenting all these all the stuff at me that's be perfectly fine because it's just gonna be um helping me no it's not interaction the words. When the word that YouTube always uses is engagement. So I'm coming in this lap. Edit current. Fuel refill. Let's go with that. Okay. We're pitting. I probably should have taken more fuel now that I think about it. Oh well. We'll have to pit again. Now it's just back to driving the wheels off of this thing. We're still 17 seconds ahead, so if I really wanted to, I could pit again this lap. Thank you. Someone thinks I'm a pro. I'm really not a pro. I'm just a dude who likes driving really fast go-karts around Monaco. I'm trying to get a win. That's a wall. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm clearly not a pro. But, um, at least in carts, I try to be the best that I can. Oh, God. That's curbs. Whoa. I'm not trying to murder them this time. Be careful with these two in front. They're about to take each other out. They're literally waiting for a time of 
This this time they're trying to murder me, all right? I'm just trying to drive better than them. Drive in circles better than them. Probably on my next pit stop, I'm going to take a heavy fuel load. That way I can just power on to the end. Um, what's that? Did I take, I think I took only, yeah, I took only like four liters. Um, oh, this isn't liters, not in gallons. Oops. Um, took only about four liters. I should probably take six to eight liters. Um, on my next pit stop. Because I'm already running pretty low on fuel. Um, I'll see if I can make it to lap 20. I probably can't. Um, I'll just come in this... Yeah, I'm just going to come in on this lap. So this is the end lap. Um, and this is a racing term. It's called the end lap. Where... It's the lap that you're pitting on. So usually what you want to do is you want to try to set the best lap you can with whatever fuel load and if your tires are degraded, whatever tires you're on. It's a trick where you just try to build as big of a gap um, to whoever's behind you. So that way you lose less time on the pit stop. Like what I've been doing this entire time, but you do it in one lap. You usually don't gain too much time unless if the people behind you either like spin or they just get caught up in traffic. Ow, that's a wall. Ooh, saved it. I'm not dead yet. At a current. Oh, I was reading that wrong. Um, we're gonna take a crap ton of fuel. Yeah, I read that as like I think it was like 1.25 laps or something like that. But. Come on. We blew the clutch. Yeah, this thing can only hold like 14 liters. But now it comes the fun part where we get to go back on the hunt. We've got a fully fueled car. And we're going to start driving laps in anger to catch them. Yeah, that's him that just turned the corner. These guys should be making pit stops. I don't know if they are, but they should because they've, they're they going to have to be taking fuel. Uh, he's on a lighter car than me. That's why he's running away from me.
Uh oh. I way overcooked it. I was trying to dive bomb into that corner that's not really a good dive bombing corner. When in reality I should have just sat back and been patient. I could have gotten them in the section that I'm faster in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, everything's working against me just because I have more fuel. He's three seconds up the road. It's going to be a bit before I can even catch him. He's a back marker. He doesn't matter.
That was for earlier. I gotta fix. I'll fix how I'm sitting here. Okay. Yours. There we go. I wasn't even facing my uh wasn't even facing my wheel. Oop. I didn't mean to do that. Wasn't me, I swear. When did that happen? I'm almost like leading by 10 seconds. Yes, I know, it's the guy on the escape road. Yes, I know. It's 
7.2. Okay. Twenty seven laps. Ooh, lost the back end a little bit there. Lost the booty. Okay, you got some back markers ahead. You're about to lap them. Let's get past them. Uh-oh. That's a wall. Yellow flags ahead. Repeat, yellow flags. Probably the next time I do a stream like this, I should set up my PlayStation camera where you can see my pedals. You can see what I'm doing with my pedals. Because you can see what I'm doing with my hands on screen. And, well, the feet on screen don't really show exactly what I'm doing. I also have to figure out some way to uh, mount my PlayStation camera so that way you can see what I'm doing with my feet. Let him have the position for now. I don't get taken out. When did I get almost 30 seconds ahead? When did I get 30 seconds ahead? Why didn't you guys tell me? I was so worried about building a gap and I looked down to, s to check the gap, which now I'm losing it, but 20 we're still 25 seconds ahead. Why didn't you tell me? I mean, I still wouldn't have let off going flat out, but, you know, I at least would have, you know, known. Did he just run me into the wall? What a loser. I'm gonna run myself into the wall. St. Devot's a really hard corner to get right. Because, well, at least in these things, because the curbs are deceptive. Okay, so. Can't see it, but down in the bottom right. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, so down in the bottom right, where you see the, uh. the green name, 
to the right of it that has that uh, green number that's ticking. That is how far behind Ivan Blanco is to me. And if I was behind someone, then there'd be a red name above the position counter. And then that red number, which is above my lap time, would tell me how far ahead they are. So that's how you read the timing, at least on project cars. It's different for like every sim, and in real life it's different, so. At least in project cars, which is what I normally stream, you'll be able to read stats. Which may start, uh oh, that's a, that, that's a spin. Almost. Um, but, that's how you read the timing statistics. Yeah, Saint Devot, it's a corner that you can take very little curb, even though the curb looks like you can take a lot of it. If you don't take it perfectly with the curb, it can flip these carts. So you gotta be very careful with these things. These things are also very hard to wrangle. That's why I'm glad I'm not using my force feedback wheel right now. Because there's no way I could wrangle one of these super carts around Monaco for 78 laps with force feedback. Got a 30 second gap, 8 liters of fuel. If I can get another big fill up on my next stint, I'll be slower for a while, but that means I'll have more fuel mileage. Oh, someone did pit. Okay, so the, the AI are pitting. That's probably why. That's probably why there's such a big gap, because he pitted when I wasn't paying attention. So this guy's got fuel. None of us can... These carts don't hold enough fuel, so we can't even fuel to the end of the race. On Probably on this next stop. So we'll have to make at least two more stops. I'm getting more fuel mileage out of these carts than I thought. So... That's why we've only had to do two pit stops because I misread. Well, we only would have had to have done one by this point if I wouldn't have misread the numbers on the pit menu. But now that we have our um, pit, our fueling strategy set up, when I pull into the pit, I don't have to adjust it anymore. I can just pull in, let the game auto drive, and get more fuel. And I'll be perfectly fine. So, that is the good thing about getting a nice fuel strategy set up. Even though I'm using probably the not very efficient fuel strategy. Um, I don't care. I'm looking for a win. I'm not looking to do it in the most efficient way possible. All my wins at Monaco have been, you know, 20 to like 40 lap races with like with no, no degradation on just because I love this track and I, I love this car and track combo but now probably the next time I run this it'll be no fuel consumption and just tire degradation so that way I can um, get a feel for my pit window my pit windows with the tires at this track and then um, I'll do this one again with everything so I can do like a technically like a Goliath race where everything's on and it's you know how if super carts were to go to Monaco how they would be
watch out for these two back markers. They're engaged in some gargantuan battle. Just easy as you go through. Gargantuan battle. He said gargantuan. It's a fancy word for a race engineer. Into Casino Square. Ah, uh, oh, that's a wall. Go, 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 go! Okay, you have big brain. I have tiny brain. So, big words are cool to me because I have tiny brain. Yeah, but reading's lame. In the last bit of reading I did, I didn't understand, so... Back in the slipstream! Break! Don't squeeze me into the wall, loser. Okay, we're good. He's still a loser, but we're not having to worry about him. <laughs> squeeze me into the wall. No, it just it just means that like reading is lame. Ah! Whoa, you think you can just overtake me like that? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is not how this goes. I overtake you, you stay behind me, and we're all fine and dandy. That's how the- <laughs> Oh my god, they took each other out. It's breaking way too early. I thought I saw the 100 meter board. Why- I have to reset my. That's our second warning for cutting the track. Be careful, otherwise we'll get pulled off the track. No, we won't. Actually, that's just because I won't cut the track again. I was just kind of forgot what part of the track I was on for a second. <laughs> that's a strong pace. Your lead is increasing. Keep up the great work. Six liters of fuel left. We can do this. We, we've crossed the threshold. No, we haven't. No, we haven't yet. Three more laps will be halfway through. Ah! We'll make it to almost lap 40 on uh, this tank, on this bit of uh, mileage, or we won't because we'll spin. Go, go, go! Like I said, curbs are deadly. Deadly curbs. Now I can't even hook up some good corners. Alright, shake it off, shake it off. Get back in. Saint Devot. Me and you are we're gonna have some we're gonna have a talk, Mr. Mr. Jonathan. No, no, Jay Sean Foxjoth. We're gonna have we're gonna have a talk. 
we're gonna have a talk. Because this is not cool. The fact that you're a backmarker, you're in 18th place, and you think that you can overtake me, the race leader, because you think you're cooler than me. Let me tell you, you're not. You may have a cooler name than me, but you're not cooler than me. And yes, I am. Well, I am the father of this race, and all of the AI are my children. They're just really annoying children. <laughs> Why we're gonna have a talk. That's why Jay Sean and I are gonna have a talk after this. I ain't gonna is this gonna be a two for one deal from Popeyes? I don't know if Popeyes is a two for one deal, but you know what? No it's not. Remy Monnet. That's a pretty cool sounding name. Too bad you're gonna get pat oh god, that's a wall. No, no, we're just gonna have a talk and we're gonna, I'm gonna tell him to be nicer on the uh, racetrack. Oh, booey. Oh my gosh, Jason. We are gonna, we're gonna duel. We are just gonna, s no, we're not, <laughs> apparently. Cause I keep running headfirst into walls. Um, but we are going to duel. I said get back up to you. Then we'll duel. Yellow flag. A crash nearby. Be careful. Get back here. Yellow flag. A car Coward. He doesn't want to duel. You're just closing up on some of the map markers. Let's get by without any drama. Come on, keep focused. Slide by. It is jousting time. We will joust in our go-karts. When did you get into the mix? You're in 32nd. You should, like, not even be out here. Get out of my way. I have a joust to attend to. Jay Sean, it's time for us to duel. Too bad you lose. Drifting. Deja vu. I have been in this place before. Many times. I've driven 1,500 miles here. Michael? You and me are going to have a talk about cutting off your father. Or do you want to duel as well? Is that what, is that what you're wanting, Michael? Fine, you want to duel? You lose too. Okay, we're going to have to be pitting soon. Um, and we are past the halfway point in this race. What words am I going to eat about about uh, Michael losing the duel? No, Michael lost the duel. He lost the duel. He's really far behind me now. Catching up on another group of my children. Ah. Go! Okay, maybe I am gonna eat my words, but you know, what's we'll that the we're just gonna duel again, I guess. Yellow flags ahead. Repeat yellow flags. 
This is Remy. Out of my way. I'm an angry dad. <laughs> you want to duel again, Jay Sean? You want to duel again? Didn't think so. Unless if you're. Okay, now, now he wants to duel. Alright. We're gonna have a Casino Square duel? I need to be pitting soon. Ha! I win the duel again. Ah! I got distracted looking at the mini map. Deja vu. to pit next lap. Well, this lap, technically. See, the problem with that hairpin is that you start to slide to the outside towards the wall, so you want to correct it by turning in more, but if you don't turn in right, and you don't have like your throttle application correct, then you spin like every single time. So that's the issue. I just drove through my mechanic. I don't know if you saw that, but I drove through him. He's not hurt. Our back filled up with fuel. It's gonna be a bit slower than what we were because of all the fuel weight, but we'll be fine.
Looks like someone may have retired from the race. They've been sitting in the pit lane for a while. Looks like they may have retired from the race. All this work and no play makes Evan a dull boy. I am a dull boy. I'm also a dough boy, but I'm also a dull boy. Ah! I'm having all kinds of fun. I don't know what you're talking about with no play. I'm having all kinds of fun out here. The nice southern France, you know, heat. Driving a go-kart. A really fast go-kart. Having all kinds of fun. Just because I'm focused doesn't mean I'm not having fun. Do you want me to sound more like I'm having fun? Yellow flag. A crash Be careful. Uh, yeah, I'm in my basement, but I'm in Monaco because I'm in VR. Obviously, that's how it works. You just strap the headset on and you're immediately transported to wherever it is you're going. Actually, I am warm. It's a very, it's a warm basement right now. In fact, if I wanted to be warm, I'd just step outside because it's hot out there. And it's not raining, so you know, that's always a plus. God. We're fine. We're not dead. Not yet. I'm not dead yet. Oh my god. What's 15 plus 18? I don't have time to do the math in my head. What's 15 plus 18? Plus eight, thirteen, so thirty-three. Yeah, thirty-three. We got thirty-three more laps before we hopefully take home the winner's trophy here. Hey, Dingus! I'm driving here. What do you mean? I got like a 15. I've got like a 15 second lead. What do you mean? Also, Go Blues, they play Sunday. And if they take another dub, they take home the cup. And I am so excited. I may go radio silent for a few days from everywhere because I'm going to be partying and celebrating the Blues' first Stanley Cup in franchise history. Mm, cut her in. Take off the E, you spelled it wrong. B R U I N S. Do we have two cars that are retired? Do we have cars that are retiring because of fuel mileage? Oh my god, that's funny. I don't have damage on, unless their engine just blew. Because I do have mechanical failures on. But part of me believes, wants to believe that they ran out of gas, which would be quite hysterical.
Neom. Neom. Do an accurate recreation of the 2018 Formula One United States Grand Prix. Neom. Neom, 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 Neom. Neom guy, he's a hero. He's a national hero. Oh my god, there's two people obstructing the track. Is that guy's last name Kjellberg? That's kind of funny. Well, I am stupid, so... Really not sure how I got accepted into college, but you know, I did. Uh-oh, that's a wall. Now we got clean air. Whoa, no I don't, because I just spun. Got, oh, no, I don't have clean air, because he's back ahead of me. And keep bashing me into the wall through there. Hear that? Somebody loves my work. Ah, that's what you get. Okay, your pace is good, but we need to open the gap up to second. Push a little harder. Come on, you can do this. 28 laps to go. I may have to fill up one more. I may have to pit one more time. Which I'm going to do. I'm not even going to edit my, my uh, pit stop stuff I'm just gonna go uh oh uh oh uh oh go 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 okay 27 we're good
got a while before I need to pit. But that means we've got a while to build a gap. Because the more we can build the gap, the less panicking I'll have to do with it in the closing laps of the race with trying to hold my position. That's the last thing I want to do is to lead at pretty much the entire race and then lose because of a bad pit strategy call. spun in the chicanes so we're good. So 30 second gap to second, which is always good. Nine point eight fuel. We're fine on fuel. Probably for nine ish laps. I don't remember when I pitted. I think I pitted on... The more clean air I can get, the better. Clean air means however much downforce one of these things has, I have 100% of. Because I'm not trying to get behind someone getting caught in their dirty air and losing all of that, all that downforce. That's a wall. 9.3 on fuel. Yeah, we should definitely be good on fuel. Not for, not to the end of the race, that's for sure, but for a while. You know, sometimes I want to crash into the wall. Sometimes the wall just says, hey, crash into me. You won't. And I got to prove the wall wrong. So it means I got to crash into the wall. You know? Somebody's got to prove the wall wrong. My back is itchy. There we go. That is the worst part of being in a race suit, is that, or being like strapped to the race car. When your back is itchy, you really can't do anything about it. You just kind of have to live with it.
into the tunnel! Woo! Woo! I'm driving in Monaco! Woo! Up to wall. Hello, Mr. Wall. How are you? Oh, one of them just dove into the pit, so. Doesn't really matter. 8.4 on fuel. Okay. You look out there. Stay uh, I broke way too late! That's a wall! I drive one handed. You can't see, but I only have one hand on the top of my steering wheel. Okay, now I'm about to two hands. Haha, <laughs> loser! Driving, mate. Pace is really good. We're building a nice gap to second place now. Keep up the good work. I don't know. You have to ask Pinterest that, not me. Not a racer boy.
That's great pace. You're looking good out there. Alright, just resetting my VR headset. It just, with these earbuds in, it, the creaking of like my chair and my desk sounds like someone's like walking upstairs. So I thought someone was home, but they're not. laps till we are the winner till we are victorious got close to a minute lead still have about six liters of fuel that won't get us 18 laps we may have to fill up again I may just take another full go. Probably. I don't want to take fuel too early. There's a car going backwards. I don't know if you saw that, but there's a car going backwards. Hold on, I'm seeing if I can find that on the replay. Hold on. So here's here's the onboard. So this lap? No. The next it's the next lap. Making sure this gets caught on stream because it was it's I didn't notice it till I looked at the mini map. Okay. Okay, you can see it coming in right here. 
Right on the left hand side. Luke Webster. It's going the absolute wrong way like a madman. Dive in 20, 30 laps, 25, 21. This couldn't have gone worse. Go, go, go. Got 18 laps. I was not cutting the track, I was actually following the actual pit exit. We have uh, 10 liters of fuel. That should definitely be enough to get us to the end of the race. 18 laps. What is 18 divided by 0. 0.6? Brakes didn't work there for a second, but you know, that's fine. We just gotta make it to the end of the. We have enough gap that if I need to, I can pit for just a quick amount of fuel. Um, I shouldn't have to because it said on that last fill up that it would last about 23.3 laps and we only have 18. So I should have fuel to spare, but it's just. In case I need it, something just fell off my desk. Why are my brakes not working again? What the heck? <laughs> He literally just... I don't care about cut tracks, I'm coming after him. Can't yeah, take that, stupid.
Can I stop trying to put me into the wall? That'd be great. Should have about three liters left, roughly, whenever I cross the line. Maybe. point I just don't even care because I yielded the time that I would have gained and they were like eh you're st you still did a cut track so at this point I don't care I'm just trying to get to the end of the end of this race on fuel oh, I thought he was out of fuel that would have been really funny With my lead being as big as it is, I may stop close to the end. Um, if I don't feel like I'm going to make it on fuel, I will. Just so I'll throw a splash of fuel in. To keep me going for a few more laps. I don't know, like a lap or two, but I sh like I said, it should be good. I'm just trying to make sure I can run to the end on this amount of fuel. There's a whole bunch of smoke going on down here. Can't keep my headset on properly right now. Oops. Oops. Strong pace. Great job. I've already started using fuel saving measures to hopefully hopefully save some fuel at the cost of some time, but I'd much rather have a bit more fuel 
then be going faster. Because I have a 36 second lead right now. I'd much rather actually be able to finish the race. That was a hiccup. Just fix my seating position. Eight laps to go. I'm decent on fuel. Short shifting for fuel saving. Hard on the brakes we go. Pen.
Seven laps to go. That means I need a pit now. I'll just go ahead and get like eight liters, and that'll be m way more than enough fuel to get me to the end of the race. But I just don't want to risk not having enough fuel. Now I don't have to worry about fuel saving. Got apparently 17 laps worth of fuel. And I've got five laps to go. Obviously I'm going to be a bit slower. But I'll be able to kind of go... Be a bit more... Aggressive. As I'll have more fuel, I'll have to worry about fuel saving. Manuel Mayo. I know it's Moya, but it looks like. But when I first took a glance at it, it looks like Mayo.
not to bat, Marcus. We don't need any drama here. Let's keep it focused. Four laps to go. Before we will be the winner. Monaco Grand Prix and Supercarts. I'm going to drive these last four laps with the VR headset above my head. I'm not actually looking through it. That curb definitely upset the cart on braking. Yellow flag. The car stuck in the track. Title to hit it. Now, if I was recording this instead of streaming it, I would have titled it some clickbaity thing to get a bunch of views, but I'm streaming. I wasn't sure if I was going to win. It would have been very embarrassing if I would have put, like, I won the Monaco Grand Prix, and then I didn't. So... Looks like I'm going to win it, but I'm not entirely sure. This guy put me into the wall last lap. So, I'm going to try to pass him. Was it him? I'm not sure. It's one of these back markers. Whoa, another car going backwards. Lovely driving. Pace is very strong. We're building a good gap to second. Got six and a half liters. We're good to go. Glad I stopped because I would have hadn't been stopping like here soon if I didn't. We are. Oh, that's a spin on the curb. That's what I was talking about when it comes to the curbs. Yellow flags, repeat. Yellow flags. Just a couple more laps. You have the fuel Yellow to do flag. it. All we need to do is take home the win. We've been streaming for two hours to take home this win here. It feels so good to be this close to winning. Two laps to go.
just closing up on some of the back markers. Let's get by without any drama. Come on, keep focus. Slide by. Yellow flag ahead. Repeat, yellow flag. Yellow flag. The car is stuck in the track. Try not to hit it. Here it is. We're coming up to the final lap. Lap 78. As long as I somehow don't lose 32 seconds and lose this race, all I gotta do is just drive her home. off my gloves. Yes, I've been driving with my gloves on. You're about to pass the back markers. Let's keep it clean. No risk. We're yeah, almost right. done. Yellow flags. Repeat. Yellow flags. Don't care. I do not care. I do not care. Yes, we did it. <sighs> we did it. We took home the win. How many people retired? One, two, three, four. Four people. And then um, one guy stuck. But we did it. We took home the win. Full race dis distance at Monaco. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And I hope you guys watch enjoy it if you watch it on YouTube. But I'm signing off. Peace.